Let's not overcomplicate this. Can you go analog planner in a digital world? Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Better Creating. My name's Simon and I'm trying to simplify productivity and creative life. Now, I make a lot of Notion templates and Notion productivity systems, notebooks, complicated integrations with Google Calendar, all of that stuff. But sometimes it feels like these systems make things too complicated. So I wanted to set the challenge, inspired by that video I made recently about the power of the paper planner and what we can learn from it, and try and build this analog system in a digital workspace like Notion. So today, I want to build a different way of looking at managing tasks that isn't all automated to dates, but it could just be your favourite way to plan your week. If you like the look of it, you can download this, just sign up to the mailing list and you're very welcome as part of the community. Go on to bettercreating.com, input an amount you want to give for it, you know, the price of a planner, and uh, I'll show you how it works. Right, so first of all, take a little look at this. This is my analog weekly planner. The fundamentals of this are incredibly simple and incredibly accessible. I'm not gonna take you through A to Z of how to build this. However, I do wanna break down some of the cool key ideas that I've used to make a system like this work. The system is made up of an inbox where I can put new tasks and add them to to-do lists, a list of basic to-do lists that are just all the tasks for a certain uh, subject down the bottom, You'll see next to it is this kind of Kanban board, this board view of the week. And you'll notice, just like in my paper planner, it's dateless. So you're not viewing it by dates, you're viewing it across the page by days. The advantage of this is you can simply move things that you didn't get done to later days where you want to get them done. And I think that's really powerful as an analog system. It's also, I think, much better than using something like a paper planner because you can actually move it around and not have to scribble stuff out. The view of the week that you're working on and the deadlines if they come up and you want to set a deadline for something really important. Now that is the only date system that I wanted to put in. So this is simply a calendar of deadlines not of tasks. The reason it's there is A to literally tell you what week you're on but also for those fundamental deadlines that you have to hit I think you do need something as you would have in a calendar to just remind you you're gonna to have to do that by then. These to-do lists down the bottom, um, you could also call projects, uh, and that's what I've called it over here. That works it by it being a uh, related database of lists, project lists, anything with more than one task in it. I do something similar in my main kind of like getting things done system in Notion. Really helpful because it allows you to group things, and with Notion's new grouping feature, you can now group by relations. It's really powerful because it allows me to see all of the tasks that are related to that specific project or to-do list. Uh, and I think it's a really clean way to manage your life. So everything, when it's dropped down, you're just seeing everything you've got to get done um, that isn't in this current week. So this is basically filtered by where um, add to week, this thing is empty and done is not ticked. That means that to move things into the planner, I simply have to, let's say I wanted to do my skydive this week, I simply have to just add it to the week on the day I wanna do it. I'm gonna do it on Saturday, and it drops in like that. Um, if you want to give these things daily priority, order them in the order that you wanna put them, you just go into daily priority, and I'm gonna say skydive is the one thing I wanna do, and it will order them in the order that they're listed there, quick first tasks down to as and when. There is probably one more thing you may have noticed that is on this planner, and that is this habit tracker. I've always believed that tracking regular practices or habits in the same place that you manage the rest of your tasks is really valuable, but these are for things that you wanna literally do every day for me. This is my daily, in fact, I'm gonna call it that, daily habit tracker. And this is a simple template the reason I mention it is it's not really part of this video. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you how to build it because you can literally download it for yourself from my website. Now, the way this works, which I think is really cool, is I've created it in this gallery view with cards. Yes, it's complex in building it, but it makes the user interface very kind of analog, basic, simple tick boxes. And this is how it works. So you would go through and go, yes, I did Monday for that. I did reading, click. You then go to the next day on the list, it brings them up. Maybe I skipped yoga then and I 
did it on Tuesday and I skipped it on Tuesday, so on and so forth, moved down the days and it just clears it out. You name the week, shut it, and then you once it's finished, you would just take it and drop it over here into the habit tracker archive. There is a list of reports. So it gives me my reports here, which you could see on the cards as you went, it tells you the percentage you achieved. And this means that, let's say I'd finished this week and went to the progress report, I can list it below and you can just see a, a kind of very simple uh, process of tracking your entire year. And to start a new week, there's a template button to just generate a new toggle and you're good to go. If you didn't spot it, there's even a clock which could have a date on it. That is an Indify widget. You go to indify.co and I think you can build your own login, create an account and you just copy and paste uh, the URL and embed it and there you have a clock. Make sure to hit the like button if you find this valuable and comment below what else would you add or take away from this system. Let's look at how you would use it on a day to day basis. Through the day I would insert tasks into the inbox. Let's say it was, I'm just making this up as I go along. That last one, I want to have a hard deadline because it has to happen and I'm going to set the hard deadline and I'm going to add it to a to-do list. That is going to be part of my side hustle. Cool producer, I'm going to add to my freelance theatre job and you can add them like that and do them as you wish. They will all then appear down here in these lists and what you can do is add them into the week. So the way to check it is look over here on the deadline and if there's anything in the current week which doesn't have a day on it, it means you need to make sure you put it in. That's the one thing I think is really powerful about this, is it's a quick view, you go, oh, write that video by the 12th. There it is, and I can make sure that the 12th is Friday, and I can add it in, and it will just drop in the right place. Anything else, I can just go, I can just plan my week out. I think I wanna add that for this week to, uh, I've not got much on Wednesday, I'll put it in Wednesday. Uh, send the card, I think we'll do that on Saturday. There you go, and you drop them in. Once you feel you've completed your week and there's nothing else you want to add, you might do this at the beginning of the week. You can close everything up and this can just be a place where you collect to-do list items. Easy. Um, and then you work for your week. Did I did my side hustle. That's done. Click. Done. The rehearsals. I'm going to move those to Friday, for example. In this list, I also have a completed task bin. It's filtered by when done is ticked. So I've created a view down here of view by deadline or view by urgency. You just click on that and it will list things in the order of their deadline. So earliest first, and then anything that doesn't have a deadline is listed from the date that it was created. Now it might be that um, you come up with a new task and make a podcast. That doesn't currently sit within any of my projects and so I can't filter it into the system. You're gonna go over to here to projects click into it if you want to give it an emoji okay headphones close the project list up and I can very easily now add it to podcast and you'll find that it will naturally if we go back to our to-do list lists it will drop in there let's say that was a much more important project than the others go down to group and because it's on manual sort I can just move that up Now one of the features I'm really proud of is this custom report for deadlines. I'm using two formulas to uh, use CONCAT to format the deadline that's set, if it is, and a bit of text, and then an if statement to give you an option if there isn't a deadline, this um, little emoji. Pretty cool and it gives you a clean deadline with information rather than just a blank date on a board. A really good trick if you're looking to get information readable on a board view. So have we managed to translate this onto here? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to check out the template. I would love it if you subscribed here too, turned on the notifications and came back for a bit more. Watch this one next if you want to get even better at simplifying your life and being productive and I'll see you in the next one.